Hello. Over the past 20 minutes, the wind was from 8 to 18 miles per hour. And the average wind condition is west at 12 miles per hour. I'm addicted. Relative work was, you know, common when the conditions were right, and uh, we just got curious about how it would be to touch wingtips. And what was interesting is that when you go to approach touching wingtips, there's a barrier of air that kind of tries to prevent that, and you really have to give it a good force to, to touch it and find that exact amount of force that it takes to tap it and not over-touch it. really neutral point right before you get to the dock and so right when you come to the dock you're moving at the same speed and it's really just a slight little push and what's amazing about it is you really see the precision of the aircraft when you've got a reference point and when you're that close to someone you've got multiple reference points because you see the axis moving like this you see your wingtips moving and it's all relative to a point you know if you're just flying by yourself you've got no point of reference and it's amazing to see how one little it's almost like an exhale on the, on the bar like this will move you up just to that position where you're a dock right next to someone. Beyond Devil Slide is really getting the height uh, when you get to Devil Slide, and a lot of times you can get there as low as four or five hundred feet and climb back up. Um, and sometimes you'll have to go across the bay of the Taco Bell Beach Bay just to cut across, cut all that um, geography off your flight because if you went around the landway, which is you would not be able to make it to that point. So the goal is to try to get to that Shelter Cove point, and it faces northwest and. Once you get there, you try to climb up, and if you can't, you've got this Taco Bell beach to land on. So, if I don't get over 1,500 feet when I'm there, I don't go to the half. Moon, I don't go to half moon bay.
Thanks for calling. Goodbye.